Welcome to another short video. Today I wanted to take a quick look if our PS3 from 10 years ago that was in the basement next to the SJ Octane still works. Actually this is a original fat PS3, not what the box suggests. This is just what we use for storage. We got this for Linux development when Apple discontinued PowerPC and we thought it's a cheap entry level option to have a PowerPC workstation for development and testing. In retrospect the CPU was not that fast and only hyper threaded not dual core and also had quite limited amount of RAM, I think 256 megabyte of RAM for the system. So let's quickly unbox it. I have no idea if it still works. I sure hope it does and maybe we can do some P3 hacking this year as well. Even put cables into controller into the box. Interesting. Even has a HDMI cable that we for sure could have used in the office. Uh, maybe sometimes we should check what we have in the basement. What is nice of the original FAT P3 is that it has the uh, Emotion Engine or something from the PS2, so it should theoretically run nearly all of the original PS2 games, which we never made use of. But if you are in vintage gaming, that may be something that is useful for you. They removed this hardware for PS2 compatibility in later revisions. This model also comes with a compact flash slot. Sony's idea was to import pictures from digital cameras. These earlier revisions are also said to have super audio CD. I just happened to get here. And what I may be curious later this year is because I noticed there is some program that probably runs in PS3 game OS. I was curious if I could make it a project later this year to um, try get this PS3 firmware modifications running in a way to boot Linux so that it runs in the game OS portion of the hypervisor, which some people have already done five or seven years ago. This code looked a little bit, bit rotten. I've not really found latest uh, versions of this. Anyway, my hope is to make this uh, usable again. Or maybe someone of you has if, please make sure to leave a comment below because then the ideas maybe have enough time to work on and hack some Super Audio CD backup functionality with native PS3 Linux support. Yeah, connection wise, it has digital out for that and LAN, HDMI out, uh, some AV multifunction and in the front USB and compact flash. And of course, here's the optical drive. So this one even comes with a Super Audio CD logo. For cost reasons, they also removed this from later revisions. I just realized it even has some SD card and memory stick slots there. And now the moment of truth, will it still turn on? At least it beeps. I need to be careful not to update the firmware accidentally. Oh, we are really lucky, it still works. I did not update this for ages. It really was in the basement for many years, nearly as long as the SG Octane. So it should have a really vintage firmware that we for sure do not want to update. So it has 3.15. I need to Google later if that is hopefully old enough for all the hacks and quirks and features. I sure hope so. And where do we have the other OS? I really like this menu though. Actually, turns out off camera I just found. Um, so I don't remember if there should be an other OS entry here. Two things. The first thing is the real time clock is probably not that accurate. I thought I set the date as it shows that 21st of uh, December. And um, it turns out it's not so far off. So probably instead of losing the real time clock content with an empty battery, it's just quite inaccurate. Probably it was not designed for being stored for nine years. So it's probably a second or two of a day accumulating to nearly a month in the meantime. It turns out when I choose a default system, I can choose other OS and then it really boots some Linux leftover kind of thing. However, off camera it did not boot it fully. So let's see what happens now. I guess there is something half installed or maybe I, maybe the last thing I did was trying a kernel update or something. Let's see if it boots something now or there is at least something left. So we can have fun with this this year. What makes me a little bit sad is that all of these P3 things on the internet are extremely bit rotten. Dead links, dead, dead websites, dead Git repositories. That is really sad. I really wish this kind of information would be kept in a better shape because now it's really hard to gather information and get things working. In the meantime, there were hacks to fully unlock this hypervisor so that Linux would run with game OS capabilities and have full control of the GPU and 
potentially other things like the Blu-ray drive also for my super audio CD um, backup abilities. This uh, petite boot thing was some Linux based bootloader using KXEC4 loading other OS and I see there there are things left. Ah. Why does it try to execute this something? I don't type something that is a little bit annoying. So the good news is I probably found out what was going on here and um, what was the last state. Actually all my installed kernels would not boot anymore not show any video. I even connected another display and doing some research and poking around on the file system I realized I probably had modifications running for the frame buffer and um, modified accelerated X driver using some security hole in the supervisor to make use of some GPU hardware acceleration. Probably I stayed very long on this firmware version 2.01 or something. Probably at some point because I was not using it that much anymore. Probably updated the firmware to watch some Blu-ray or something. So this was the three point whatever we have seen earlier. And then when Sony removed the other OS feature entirely, I probably stored it in the basement not to accidentally update the firmware and preserve this last working other OS firmware in case we need it for something important. And this is how it ended up being stored for quite a long time in the basement there. So at least this is working, although with a very vintage, very early Yellowdog Linux kernel that probably came with this first official Yellowdog Linux other OS thing. <clears> that is certainly very easy to work from. As I said, I would love to run the Linux kernel with a modified firmware to grant the Linux kernel also game OS um, access rights and thus also make use of all the graphic acceleration. It unfortunately looks very bit rotten, so um, it may be a little bit dangerous to um, flash any of this unverified uh, leftover download links where nobody can show what it's actually doing. But anyway, that, that would of course be great. Unfortunately, the theme is a little bit vacant. I certainly did not expect that I had Window Maker configured here as uh, Window Manager. And also, surprisingly, certainly I never tested SPDIF Optical Out also works. Here is uh, Optical coming out of the PS3 to my duck board that for sure I also should build a nice aluminum case for sometime soon. And uh... Okay, so I have some music to enjoy and some video to edit and um, I hope you enjoyed this video as all the others and uh, don't forget to subscribe for plenty of more to come.